Hi everybody! Today I'm gonna make a banana steam pie. We actually don't have an English name for it, I just make that up. So in here I have six bananas. You have to get the good one like this. Yellow is with the brown thing, that means it's so sweet and ready. And in the big bowl, I have a big bowl right here. And I have one can of coconut, tapioca, and rye flour. Okay, and now I'm going to show you how we make it. So I'm going to take, I'm going to peel the banana. Um, make sure you get all these string here out too. Just take them out. Okay, and the drain in the front. So you slide it out like that. You slide it to a very thin slide. And after that, I have to use a finger, so I'm gonna uh, show you step by step. This is the dessert. Oh, snap when I still live in my country when I still live in Vietnam I used to have this like midday after lunch and it's served with coconut milk and I will show you how to make that and uh, so if you follow my recipe it's very simple I'm, I am doing like a home cook, so my recipe is like you don't have to go out looking for like 500 shops to get all the, the stuff that you need to make. Very simple. So I'm going to slide all that six banana out. So slide very thin. And I have the steamer. On the uh, kitchen stove, I turn it on already. In the uh, meantime that we're doing this, I turn it on. Okay. The boys are sick, so they stay home from school today. So, it's only one more month in the summer vacation stuff. We have a lot of um, sickness going around. So we're gonna keep sliding the banana until you finish six of them. If you want more banana, you can add more, it's up to you, but I think the big, uh, a, a lot of banana, a big one like this, you only need about six. Get the one that's nice and golden, so sweet. one make sure you get all the string out usually I don't have a name for this so I just come up with a, a banana steam pie so if you have a name for it feel free to comment give me the name I'm just calling that. <laughs> okay, so almost done, and then I'll show you the next step. Very easy to make. So I'm gonna throw all the skin, the peel away.
Okay, so I'm gonna add in here about half a cup of sugar. Half a cup of sugar. I'm gonna use, let me show you, let me open and show you, so you know exactly. Most of these flowers you can get in the supermarket. Okay, so let me show you close. Dry flower. The whole bed is um, 16 ounces. So you, you half of this bed is about eight. So you half of it. Just use a half of tapioca. I guess you. Hi, Ethan. Hi. It smells yummy. <laughs> Banana. <laughs> okay, so I have two cans of coconut milk, but I'm gonna use one can for the pie. And the other one came for the the coconut the sauce later to put on top of the pie. Pie, that's what I'm calling from now on. All right, I'm gonna get a spoon. So I'm gonna put the whole can of coconut milk in here. To you so one can is 13.5 ounce and one can of water okay I'm gonna put one can of water in here I'm gonna put half first and then I'm gonna stir it mix together Better. There you go. So you're gonna mix all this flour and um, coconut milk and the water together. Mix well until you don't see the crumb. Bánh chuối này lúc mà mẹ mình còn mẹ cũng hay làm lắm nè. Các bạn ơi, mẹ mình mất rồi chứ Ít có làm Nhiều khi làm rồi cũng không dám đem lại đưa ba mình Sợ không nhớ, sợ ba mình nhớ mẹ Tội nghiệp Ok, so I think So I think what I do is that Six banana Half a bag of rye flour is a ounce, half a bag, and one can of coconut milk, half a can of water. You don't need to use a whole can. I think half a can is good enough. And now you're gonna mix together just like this because the um, the sugar and half a cup of sugar because the sugar we want to. Mix them all together, just like that. And then, when you're done, I have the bacon pan right there. I'm gonna put the whole thing in there, and we're gonna steam up this. I'm gonna, I'm gonna put in the steamer. And we're gonna steam it. Okay, so.
Okay, so when you put in the, the baking pan like that, you're gonna put the wrap on top of it. When you put the wrap on top, just because we don't want while we steaming the pie, the water don't leak in here. Okay, so now I'm gonna bring this thing I'll show you. This is the top of my steamer, really big. So I'm gonna put right in here. And I'm gonna put right into the steamer. The water is already cooked. A while. So I'll open the lid. The lid has to be cold to make the water steam quicker. And now when it go over, I'm gonna put right on top of the steamer. Turn this around. Okay, now we're gonna keep this. Um, keep it on the kitchen stove with the medium high heat for about 15 minutes and we'll come back and, uh, and check it later. So in the meantime, I'm going to make a coconut sauce before the, um, we'll it again. Okay, and I'm going to put one can of coconut milk in there. I'm gonna put the whole can of coconut milk. The same um, size. So I'm gonna put it in the whole thing. So I'm soaking about half a cup of tapioca pearls in the water while we're cooking the coconut milk. So this is tapioca pearl. So half a cup, put in a bowl like this and add water on the side and wait for the coconut milk to cook. So in that coconut milk, I'm going to put about one fourth of a cup sugar. Okay. And half a teaspoon of the salt. So half. Yeah. And keep stirring. for five minutes. I'm going to put tapioca pearls in here. So the coconut can that we used earlier, the empty one, I leave it there. I'm going to put half, half a cup of water in there and I'm going to use one tablespoon of tapioca starch. So tapioca starch. Okay, so I'm gonna use half a tablespoon. First and stir it and then add half after. Mix them well and then half after. Okay, so this is half. 
Okay, now in the meantime, coconut milk, you see the bubble stuff popping like that. I'm gonna add the tapioca pearls in there. So after you soak in the water, you drain the water out and leave a little water in there. It's easy for you to take. <coughs> take out. with the coconut milk. If you cut the heat is too high, it's going to pop everywhere. So make sure when you start to bubble a little bit, you turn the heat down to medium low. And you keep cooking. Okay, in the meantime, I'm going to check the bag. It's not ready. Let it cook for a little while. I'm going to turn the heat down a little bit. Let me start to bubble, bubbling, keep stirring it. Okay, now we're going to slowly add the water with tapioca start. Slowly add it in. At the same time you keep stirring. Tabioca water in here, tabioca stock. You put it in here, you make the coconut uh, sauce thicker. You can see, you get it thicker. Let it boil for two minutes, and then you turn off the heat, and you're done. You put it on the side and wait for the, the pie to finish. Constantly stir. So we want to cook the tapioca stock water. Cook it really well. Okay, now you can turn off the heat. And let, um, let it cool down. 
medium time. Just move it away from the oven. So in the meantime, I'm gonna show you the the corn. Really hot. So be careful. So I think the bottom already cooked. We're gonna wait until the whole thing cooked. It will take about 15 minutes. We'll come back. Okay, everyone. So after 15 minutes in the steamer, I took it out, leave it there for five minutes, and it cooled out. This is what it looked like. I'm gonna put it on the plate and flip it and upside down. So I'm gonna show you like that. Coming right out. See how beautiful that is? It's coming out so easy because of coconut milk. So nice. So 15 minutes. You steam on the steamer. So now I'm gonna cut it and I'm gonna show you how we serve it. Okay, so I'm gonna cut it out to the line right here. Like that. I'm gonna cut into this. Very delicious. You can try it at home. And buy a banana and you can just leave it about a few days and let it nice and golden and you can make something like this and I show you with the coconut coconut milk that we make earlier you can serve it okay remember when you take it out from the steamer don't cut right away because it's going to break into small keys. So you gotta wait a few minutes until it cool like this. And now we're gonna sprinkle on top with some peanut and some sauce. This is great. So, I'll show you how we should this. It's very nice snack or dessert. Okay, so down on the side, move this to here so you can see. Now I'm gonna go get the uh, coconut sauce that I, we made earlier. Let me just show you closely so you can see it. There you go. Now with the coconut sauce we make earlier, you can just sprinkle on top of it. Just like that. And then add some peanut. So you drop the peanut and you can just add it on top of it. Very delicious. There we go. So we have finished the Banana steam pie. And remember, if you come up with a, a different name, please let me know. This is Brandon. Sick today, staying home. Right, Brandon? Yeah. Yeah. So, hopefully he can go back tomorrow. Do you know what this is? Oh, banana steam pie. That's oh. my name. That's the name that I just made it up. <laughs> and we really don't have an English name for it. So everyone, I hope you make it and um, you try to make it at home and you let me know how it look and how it tastes. Tastes very delicious. Thank you for watching. I see you next time. Bye.